Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeremy from Flatware Creations. I have been wanting to make this video for a while, but now I get the chance. So today we're going to break this bracelet. So this is one of the new uh, spring style hinged bracelets. Um, each piece is taken down to a little nub and then soldered into the spring, which makes it go on your wrist really easy. Really comfortable, super easy. One of the nice parts about them is that if they get bent out too much, or they're just not really touching or they're off to the side, is you can bend them over and past each other and they come right back to center. So I always like to make sure things are gonna last and to find out just what things will take. So this was one of the first ones I made. Um, so it doesn't have a very good pattern on it. It's, it's nice, but, and it's still a little big. So I wear a size seven, so this is gonna be a size. So I am going to hook it up to this fishing scale and I'm gonna put it here in my vise and we're gonna bend it back. I wanna see how much pressure it takes to bend off one of those nubs. So we, my every intention is to break this thing today. So let's get started. Bring it down here. And I think I've got the lighting good enough so that you can see the numbers on the uh, scale. I'm gonna put this in here to where it's vertical. So put it straight up like this. So we should be able to bend this right back without it slipping, hopefully. We're gonna hook the fishing scale to it. Let me see, can we get in there? Let's zero it out first. So it's been it's been zeroed. There we go. Now it's working. So put on my glasses. Try to keep you in the frame here. Careful, Gus. We are at two pounds, three pounds four pounds, five pounds right there. Five pounds, six pounds right there. Eight pounds, nine pounds, 10 pounds, 10.4, 11, eight, 12, nine, still holding well, 14 pounds. Come on, 16 pounds, 18 pounds. I just heard this thing make a little crack. So we're 18 pounds. Say hi, Gus. Gus, say hi, look up here. Hello, everybody. I'm Gus. You gotta watch out, buddy. I'm making a video. Shh. All right, hop down, buddy. I don't want you to get hurt. There you go. Okay, so there is a two finger gap in here right now, which is crazy. And this thing, I'm seeing a little tiny bit of the spring here. You can see it just right there. That's the only part that's really opened up. Come on guys, you gotta stay down. So this is staying put. So let's keep, let's keep going. We're still at zero here. We know we're up to 14. There's 15, 17, 21, 23, 29, 33, 36, 41, I think 41 pounds of pressure is good enough. I don't really see how somebody is going to be able to put 41 pounds of pressure on this to put it on their wrist. 
So, I think that we are safe <laughs> as far as that goes. But look at the way this turned out. Boom. We do have bends. Let's get in here. You don't want to see my beard. So, we do have opening right here. We have an opening right here, but I can see the pin. Hi, Gus. Welcome back. Everybody want to say hi to Gus? Hello. Yeah, you're the most popular on this channel. I know. Okay, so I can actually see the pin right here. And this is also probably as far as the solder got in there as well. This is hard to do, Gus. And I can see the end of the pin on this side as well. So I see solder to there with where my thumbnail is. Hi, buddy. And then right there's the pin, and that's where it opened up. So they both opened up right at the ends of the pin. And let's see if I can get this back, even where it will close now, I guess. So I'm just gonna try and bend it right there, try and get the, the spring bent back into place. So there's kind of close. Now I'm gonna bend it over and over again. We're almost back together. This side's got to come up just a little bit. Almost there. Let's see, this is all together. Let's go just a hair more. Watch out, Gus. almost back to where we were. <laughs> this is crazy. Crazy, crazy. I never, I figured this thing was going to break maybe 15 pounds or so. That's just up and down. After all that weight on it, I can't couldn't even imagine this thing getting back together. So we're pretty close there. Still got a little gap. Let's see if we can fix, fix that. Kind of working on the it's definitely coming back together here we go it's back together Let's see if we can fix that a little bit more So it seems like the spring is wanting to go. There's just getting it back straight. Oh, I felt something pop. Yep. All right, we broke it. So after all that adjusting, it broke right there. I just felt it crack. There we go. I'm gonna have to go back through and count how many times that I bent it and kept shaping it. You see the size of that pin, just the broken part there. 
it's really small. There you go, that's a better view. It's a really small pin. And it was 40 some odd pounds of pressure and it didn't break. It was only until I started doing this with it that it broke. So that's good. I'm gonna have to go back there and count how many times I actually bent it and tried to manipulate it. Yes, your butt is in the way. And this side here is still holding really well. Yeah, that one doesn't want to break. So what I can do is, because I don't throw anything away, I'll take and I'll trim this down and I'll undesolder this, trim this one down to the same size and we'll make another bracelet out of it so nothing gets wasted. But I think the spring part is shot. All right, we successfully broke that bracelet and I am super excited of how much pressure it took. That was just craziness. 40 some odd pounds of pressure and then bending it back and forth a whole bunch of times. And it did come back together before I kept messing with it. So that's a great sign. I mean, this thing was bent way back. Um, awesome. If you made it to the end of this video, make sure you hit uh, subscribe if you want to get our newest updated videos. I will be making more videos coming very soon. Um, I'm going to start working on my editing, so hopefully I'll be able to get some funny stuff in here. And hit the bell so that you can see our new videos. Uh, also, continue to share with your friends. I'm always making videos. and. There's a lot of stuff on here that I've made that people seem to enjoy making <coughs> or recreating and following along. Plus, plus as an added bonus, you get to see Gus. Gus, Gus, you're famous. You're famous. He's like, put me down. There you go, buddy. All right, I hope you guys all have a great day making.